Hi, this is Paolo from DMB Academy, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create pads like the ones in the track Games by Monty. So this is the original one. And this is our recreation in Serum. If we play that in the original, we get this. which is very similar to the original. Now on the second phrase we have this pad. And we also created those. So this sound like this. And if we put all of those in context, we get this. So, very similar to the original. But before we get started with the video, I gotta tell you that only 50% of the people who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you end up liking one of our videos and find it useful, consider subscribing. It's free and it helps us build more free content for you in the future. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So here I am with Serum, but you can use any other synth as long as you follow the principles. So the first thing we're gonna begin with is with the simplest waveform of them all, which is the sine wave. So we're going to head into the analog section and load the basic shapes, which loads a sine wave on the first waveform. And it kind of already sounds like it. But first, let's take a look at the piano roll. So here is the main chord progression. First, we have a D minor chord. Then we have a G minor chord. Then we have a D sharp minor chord. And then we're back at the first D minor chord. So if we take D as our root note and D minor as our scale, then our sequence is one, four. And then instead of a two, we can call this chord a chromatic chord because it shares the same structure as the D minor chord, but it's one semitone up. And it serves as a transition between G minor and D minor and it adds that deep odd feeling into the chord progression. So let's play this. And throughout the track, it just gets repeated. And in the second section, it's just one octave up. And that is a chord progression that you need to follow when creating the sound. So now let's go back into Serum. And the processing here is going to be real simple. So if we listen to a reference, we can notice a smooth movement between the different voices of the chord and also on the stereo field. So if we were to take the simple sine wave right here and wanted to add that movement, we will need something to create that movement. And that is the chorus. So if we turn on chorus, we will notice how, how the left and the right channels are kind of being modulating in terms of amplitude, but the fact is that they're not. What we have is a phenomenon called phase cancellation, which means that some voices generated by the chorus are canceling the original ones from the dry signal. And we can change the speed in which they do that with the rate. If we want to make it faster, we increase it. If we want to make it slower, we bring the rate down. In this case, we're going to boost the mix a lot. And we want to experiment with the rate. And so that'll be the first patch. Now, if we listen to this in context, It sounds pretty good. And if you're wondering how these effects are done, the only thing you need to do with your patch is to increase the pitch bend range and then play with the pitch bend wheel. Like that. So now let's talk about that second pad, which sounds like this. So 
So let's go back into our piano roll. So here I am in the piano roll. And what we need to do is to bring all the notes one octave up. And we need to add that small delay that puts the notes after the key. So if we turn on our metronome, the first chord plays on the first beat, but we need to zoom in and delay them one eighth note, which will be the, the half of a fourth note. And that's the only thing that we need to do on our piano roll. So now let's go back into our serum and let's add that plucky feel by bringing the sustain all the way down. And then let's boost the decay time, play with the curve. And maybe let's add some reverb into this patch. Let's increase the low cut. And now let's play all of this together in the context of the track. So, one more time, this is the original. And this is our recreation. If we place it on top of the track, now without it, now with it, So that is gonna be it for the sounds, really simple sounds, but they are effective and they sound good, which at the end is what we want when we're creating a track. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. Leave a comment letting us know what would you like to see next in the channel. Join our Discord, follow us on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.